Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my cooking channel. On today's episode, I'm going to show you one of my national dish called khichdi and I'm going to do a twist my style, my way. It's a fusion. I like to do fusion to my dishes. It will be a unusual combination of Indian and Italian cuisine. So stay with me. I'm going to show you what ingredients I'm going to use for that. Well, there are plenty of ways and variations in uh, my country to make a khichdi. I'm going to share with you what I learned from my family. I come from a chef's family and uh, what I learned from my mom actually, uh, she used to cook for me sometimes uh, this khichdi and I'm going to do her recipe into a fusing with a, which will be a Italian and Indian cuisine. So stay with me. I'm going to share with you the ingredients I'm going to use for that. These are the ingredients which I will use for my dish. Here, some chopped garlic, ginger garlic paste, parmesan cheese, some cream, arborio rice. Here I'm using uh, the chicken stock just to give some flavor of chicken. You can use uh, vegetable stock instead. Uh, freshly ground uh, peppers, salt, ghee i'm using you can use olive oil or uh, uh, the mustard oil as well turmeric powder red chili powder cumin and garam masala some vegetables asparagus red pepper uh, capsicum and the carrots red onion you can use shallot as well so let's start cooking well basically to make khichdi we use basmati rice and uh, it goes together with the lentil dal we call in, in India but I'm going to use here this arborio rice which is specifically used for risotto and this will be my twist Indian way khichdi it will be a Italian fusion so stay with me I'm going to show you the recipe step by step and uh, enough talking let's cook okay use a frying pan heat it up add some ghee it's clarified butter it gives a super nice taste also to the dish wow ghee is smelling very nice now add some red onions you can use shallots as well since we Indians like to use red onion to every dish, it gives also a nice flavor. Saute with some garlic. Now I'm going to saute the vegetables. I will use I will saute first the. Uh, Carrots takes longer time. Asparagus. Saute nicely. I cooked separately this carrots and asparagus because it took longer time to cook. Now I'm going to add this green capsicum and red pepper. It will not take longer time to cook. No need to do any seasoning because we will do it in the end. Just saute nicely. Well, it's done now. What I will do, I will transfer back to a ball. It's done. Now I will keep it aside. Okay, you can use the same frying pan, add some more ghee, 
like I said, you can use olive oil or mustard oil or any sunflower oil you like. Heat it up. Onions go in. Garlic go in. Saute nicely. Now add ginger garlic paste. Saute nicely again. Nice smell. In this stage, I'm going to add a bit of cumin seeds so it will roast also and it will cook and mix with other ingredients nicely oh nice aroma man very nice lovely now onions are getting golden brown so in this stage we will add this arborio rice keep on stirring nicely saute them this particular rice, this arborio rice, takes longer time to cook. Add some salt. Keep on adding time to time. This arborio rice sucks so much water actually. It takes longer time. You can use a little bit of wine as well. See how quickly the stock is gone so you have to keep on adding and mixing so in the same time it will cook and it will give also nice flavor to the rice and now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients red chili powder a little bit of turmeric powder some garam masala keep on stirring as I told you this rice takes longer time to cook time to time you have to add some stock looks nice now you can see it's getting al dente now almost actually so add more leave it the quantity you also see it's become double now now you can see the stock is almost gone time to add the vegetables And two sprig of thyme mix well now time to add some cream into it season with the uh, pepper some salt parmesan cheese Give it a minute, mix nicely. So, khichdi is ready in an Italian way. <laughs> uh, so now I will do some platings. Here are two serving suggestions for my side. I did uh, these two plates for you guys. It's optional, of course. Uh, one into a bowl, one into a plate. I uh, I use some garnishes, some. Uh, Parmesan flax on top of this and uh, some uh, fresh thyme I have at home. I hope you guys like this recipe. This is a super fu uh, fusion of uh, Italian Indian cuisine. Stay tuned with me for more videos and uh, subscribing, forwarding to your friends and uh, share them. And uh, thank you very much. And I like when you subscribe my channel and you will tell me in the comments that what you like me to cook for the next video. Thank you. Cheers guys.
time to eat time to eat time to eat